it out. Hey, yeah, I'm working on the website now. But I'm working on it on my local web server. All right, you wanna check it out? Yeah, but you're already in California and I'm in New York. Well, it's not live on a production server, it's on my local web server. Now, it's kind of hard to share a link with you. But wait, actually, I think I have another tool that I could use that can help me out with this. Let me check it out. All right, I'll give you a call back in a few. Well, if you're a WordPress developer or a web designer and developer who works on websites locally on their computer, and you're creating websites for clients who want to see the progress in real time, this is something you probably faced before. Now, Local by Flywheel is a local web server that you have on your computer or laptop. You develop your websites like you normally would, but you have some advanced functionality that's really helpful, like link sharing where you can work on the website locally and create a live link that you send to your client. And then they'll be able to view the website that you're doing on your local desktop environment. You also have support for WordPress multi-site and you can support multiple versions of PHP. Now, the best part, it's free. Now, is it only for WordPress developers and designers? No, if you're working with a dynamic programming language, you can use Local by Flywheel for your projects as well. So in this video, we're gonna find out if Local by Flywheel is the best solution for WordPress designers and developers. Let's find out. All right, so I'm gonna bring up the Local by Flywheel website over here. And this is where you can get more information about it. So when you're working on WordPress websites, it's always best to work locally on your computer. That way you're in a secure environment. You're not taking part in cowboy coding where you're coding on a production website. You get to debug everything before you go live. But sometimes there's some issues with local web development, like you have limitations on some of the functionality. You can't share in real time your work product with any clients that you have, or you can't get feedback from other developers if you're trying to show them what you're doing. And if you wanna work with WordPress multi-site, a lot of the other solutions don't really have support for that. At least not out of the box and you have to go through pains in order to get it set up. All right, so this is some of the information you can get by local by Flywheel. And the best part, it's actually free. So all these um, advanced features and functionality you get for free. All right, so I'm gonna just start it up. And as you can see, I already have a couple of demo sites that I'm working with over here. So I'm gonna start up this demo WP website. And this is for the DevWP training theme that I have a whole entire playlist dedicated to it. So definitely check out the cards in the upper right hand corner and the description section down below. So what's cool about this is you can choose what version of PHP you wanna work with. You can choose the web server you wanna work with. You can have support for multi-site and you can enable link sharing or live link is what they call it. All right, so I'm gonna just start the website over here and then we could view the site and it'll open it up in your browser. And this is the local version of DevWP that I'm working with. All right, so that's pretty cool. As you can see, it gives you a different type of URL. Instead of using a local host type domain, you have your domain right there, in this case, demo WP, and then it's dot local. All right, so now, Let's go over here. What if I wanna create another WordPress installation? Do I have to go to wordpress.org, download WordPress, put it into my HT Docs folder, and then start creating the database and doing things of that nature? No. All you have to do is go over here to the plus sign. You can take a look at some of the advanced options, but you name it over here. So I'm gonna name this one DevWP. And as you can see, it already created the devwp.local domain name, and it shows you the local path over here as well. And if you want to create a blueprint, meaning that you are going to create other versions of websites that are going to be very similar to this, you can create a blueprint for this as well. I'm not going to do that at this point, but let's just continue. Now, they have their preferred server setup, which is at this point in time, PHP 7.1.7 with an Nginx and Varnish and MySQL 5.6. So you can go with the preferred version, or if you wanna go with custom, you can choose the latest version of PHP. You can choose an Apache server if you want, and you can choose 5.6 for MySQL. Click continue. And then over here, you'll set up the um, WordPress installation. So it'll give yourself a username. And over here, I'm just gonna put in my email address. Look at the advanced options. If you want to set this up as a multi-site installation, you could do that. So I'm going to do that over here and I'm going to set it up as a subdirectory. Then I'll add site. If you want to set this up as a default, you can do that as well. I'll just click not now. And then it's going to start the process of creating your WordPress installation locally. 
All right, so once it's done setting up, you're gonna see your new website added over here. I'm gonna go stop this one over here. What's good is you can have multiple websites uh, set up locally and run them at the same time. Now that's typical of most local web servers, but just wanted to mention that here. All right, so we'll go here to the WWP, and then you can view the site, and it already has WordPress installed. We'll just log in over here. And when you log in, it's a typical WordPress installation. You have everything that you would normally have. But one thing I do like about it is if you go over here to plugins, you don't have any of the default plugins installed. Now, that's not a major issue. It's not a major pain point. But every time you're creating a local WordPress website, you often have to go into this section and delete the plugins. Or you could do it with the folders itself. You could just delete the, um, delete the plugins from there. But here we have our local WordPress website. All right, as you can see, we have a multi-site setup. So now we can go to the network admin dashboard. We can go to sites. You can see all the sites. Currently, we only have one. We can add a brand new site over here. And I'm going to do another video on WordPress multi-site. But I just wanted to show you that with local by Flywheel, you have this capability to add additional websites to your WordPress multi-site. I did a previous video on WordPress multi-site and I'll leave a link to that in the cards up above, but I'm also going to create a newer video just to talk about the newest types of functionality and features and more advanced aspects of WordPress multi-site itself. So that's pretty cool. All right. So now what about this link sharing? How does that work? All right. So I'm going to go over here. As you can see, we're still here. We can enable live link. You click that and then you're going to get this link over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this link. I'm going to reduce the screen over here. I'm going to go over here to Google voice. Since I'm logged into Google, I have access to this. I'll click on myself and I'm going to take that link. Copy it and send it to myself. And what I'll do is I'll jump on my phone and I'll show you how that looks. All right. So I'm on my iPhone now. I go over here to the text message I sent myself. This is where you'll send it to your client or whatever. Tap to preview. And now it's going to take me to a live version of that website. Now that's cool because if you have a client that wants to see your work product, you can share with them a link that they can preview. Now the cool part is that link is only going to be available if you have that icon toggled, meaning you have that link over there enabled. But this is a very cool feature and I think it's one of the main selling points of Local by Flywheel. Now if I disable this link and go over here and try to refresh, you're going to see that that's no longer available. Now that's cool because you can give temporary access to the local WordPress setup and disable it when you no longer need the person to view it in real time. Now what about the database? Well, instead of using phpMyAdmin, you go over here and you're going to see that you can connect to Adminer. So if you click on that, you see now that we're connected to Adminer and these are your database tables. Since we're using WordPress multi-site, you have more than the default tables you would find in a typical WordPress installation. I have a video that I created about the WordPress database and taking a tour of it. And I'll leave a link to that in the cards up above as well. And I'm going to create another video dedicated to WordPress multi-site and the database and how you can manage it and stuff. But this is how you would interact with the database with local by flywheel. Then if you go over here, you also have support for SSL and you have some other utilities as well. So like if you want to, you know, have uh, mail hog configured, you could do that as well over here. And local by flywheel stores all your files and your websites in this directory on the windows computers. It'll be typically in this PC, local disk, users, your user account, and local sites. And then that's where you'll see your local websites. So if you go over here to WWP, you're going to have a different type of uh, folder structure. So you'll go into the app folder into the public, and then that's where you'll see your WordPress installation. You go into WP content, plugins, see what you have there. If you have any themes, etc. So that's where it's located. And on Mac, it's a similar folder structure as well. It'll be in your user account local sites, and then you'll see all your local websites. All right, so that's some of the features you have with local by Flywheel. It's definitely a really good solution for anyone working with WordPress powered websites. 
I've been using it for the past couple of weeks and I can definitely tell you I haven't found any issues with it. Installing it is very simple. You just go to the main website over here, local by Flywheel. You click the download button over here or up over here and then you just follow the prompts. Very easy to do. It's gonna also install VirtualBox because that's how it works. It creates individualized containers for each local WordPress installation. And VirtualBox is another great tool that I use because I like working with different versions of Linux on my Windows computer as well. Another thing to note is that this works with Mac and with Windows with no problem. All right, so hopefully you found this video helpful. And if you want to learn how to create a WordPress theme, definitely check out my video right over here. Learn how to code a WordPress theme. This is the DevWP training theme. And I have another video that I'm creating that's going to go into even more advanced functionality like WooCommerce support, different types of layout options, and some more advanced features that most people would want within a WordPress theme. So definitely check that out. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification icon, leave a comment down below. And if you want, share this video with somebody else who you think might benefit from using Local by Flywheel. All right, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video. Take care.